Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a letter K uh, using for loops. Okay, so the first thing that you need is going to be including uh, CSTD lib because I'm going to be using uh, absolute function, absolute value function, and it's in this library. Okay, so the first thing we need is to uh, ask the user how many um, stars for the length. So, right, let's uh, make it into a variable called length. And we have to see in length. Okay, now. Um, in order for the user's length to be accurate, you have to divide it in half. So length equals length divided by 2. This is because, let's say the user enters um, length 5, right? So this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to go from negative 2 to 2. So basically 5 divided by 2. It's going to give you 2 because it's an integer. So it's going to go from 2 to 2. If it was 7, it would be 3. So it would go from negative 3 to positive 3. Um, OK, so now we just need the for loops. So the first for loop um, is when we say int i equals. Um, so int i is going to start from negative length. And then it's going to go until it's up to uh, positive length. Then it's going to i plus plus, right? And inside this for loop, let's call it um, j. So that is also going to go from negative um, length. And this one is only going to go until it's. until it reaches zero. J plus plus. And this is because um let me show you in this picture. So this is gonna go from negative length to zero. So it looks like a letter K. Okay, so in this statement, in this for loop we're gonna need our condition. Okay, so we have a a star in this whole uh, column. So let's just start with that. So if j, because j is dealing with the columns, if j equals negative length, then we're going to see out a star. Right? Uh, so so this would be j, so if it equals negative length, which is negative 2, it's going to see out a star, so negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. This whole column is going to have a star. Okay, so here we need an or. Okay, so inside the or, um, the, we're going to use absolute uh, value, so absolute abs of i plus abs of j. So if abs i plus abs j equals the length, it's also going to see out a star. OK, so, so let's say right here. So when uh, j is 0 and i is negative 2, uh, absolute function is going to make this into a 2. 2 plus 0 is 2, so it's going to have a star. Here, negative 1 is, becomes a 1, plus negative 1, which becomes a 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2, it's going to see out a star. Same here, 1 plus 1, 2, star. And for this one, 2 plus 0 is 2, so star. OK, so um, else if it's not a star, it's just going to see out a white space. Okay, and after the after the first for loop, the second for loop, 
So after this for loop, we're going to have a space. And that's pretty much it. So let's run the program and see if it works. So it's going to say how many stars for the length of k. Let's just do 5. So it's going to print out a k, uh, k with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so let me just uh, make it clear one more time. So uh, here we're dividing length by 2. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. But since it's an integer, it's just going to be 2. So it's going to go from negative 2 to 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to have 5 uh, length. And yeah, you could make um, it looks better with bigger numbers. It just looks clearer, so let me just put like 11. Yeah. Alright, I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.